Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our Angular Automation with Protractor, TypeScript and Cucumber video series. And in this video we'll be talking about Jasmine specs with expect and match. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Expect. Jasmine it function cannot complete unless until there is at least one expectations. So the expectations are set using the expect method of jasmine and is chained with a matcher so as you can see in our previous video we're talking about writing a simple describe method and there was an it method within it the it block actually has some kind of coding logic as i already said and there is no assert in the methods within our jasmine as like what n unit or j unit have rather it has something like its expect method and this expect method is going to look something like this. It is going to have an expect and followed by there is a matcher. So the matcher is going to be a series of methods which is going to perform the matching operation. For instance, we have a code block in here, the first code block of the it. It says let a is equal to true and the expect here is expect a to be false. So if we say expect a to be false, which means it's going to return as a exception while we run this particular code. Similarly, if we say let A and we expect it to be defined and if it is not defined, then it is also going to be failing and it's going to throw us a message saying not defined. So this is how you can keep on testing a service using Jasmine's expect and match chaining. So we'll quickly see this in action from our next video onwards. But for now, I will quickly show you a very high level overview of how to write the expect and match in our Visual Studio Code. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. So this is the same project which we were working on in our previous video. And here, as we already said, the it block is not going to be complete unless until there is an expected match within this particular code. So if there is no match, then the scenario, it is going to throw us a message saying there is no expectation for this particular code block. I will quickly sh write an expect method in here and let's do this, expect. And you can see that it is expecting a function and there is one more overloaded function here which is going to say the actual and there's an array like and there is one more overloaded method, the actual of t. So this is the one which we are interested in right now. So let's quickly say that let a is equal to let's say 12 and now the expect that's a dot to be 12 so if it is 12 then it's going to be passed if it is not 12 then it's going to throw as an exception in here and you can also write a nested it as i already said before for a particular describe you can keep on adding any number of blocks you want and then if you want to say it should not pass something like that should not pass as the values are undefined and then I'm going to just write a block of code in here or something like this and then I'm going to say let u which is going to be undefined for now and then I'm expecting it to be defined so u dot to b and you can see there are so many methods coming in so these are the matcher as I was saying before so the to b is the one which we used before in our code over here and similarly we have to be close to to be defined to be falsy to be greater than to be greater than or equal less than less than or equal and there are so many very good methods so these are coming out of the box for us which is kind of great so let's say to be defined if it is not defined then I'm gonna say it is not defined something like this right so you can write code something like this for your expect and matcher to perform the operation. And now you might have a question. So far in our video series, we have been talking about TypeScript and we have been configuring it when you are talking about describe and it block and also the expect and matcher blocks. But we have not executed the code even a single time. So when are we going to really execute this code and going to see this in action? So guys, stay tuned for our next video for a complete executing code and how we can bring this whole code to life. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.